Welcome to Excel Basic Series number one. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. In this series, we're going to look at the Excel Basics from beginning to end. And where do we start when we're talking about Excel Basics? Hey, what is Excel? Excel basically does two things, calculations and data analysis. Now, we see here we have a payroll table, <clears throat> gross pay, deductions, total deductions, and net pay. So we're doing some calculations. Now, we've typed some percentages here. We've built formula. So if you were to click up here, you can see there's a formula up there using the round function. If I hit F2, you can see that this uh, formula is looking at that cell reference and at this green one down here. And we've come all the way over to net pay and hit F2 which puts it into edit mode, our formula, you can see this one's adding up the uh, gross pay and sub subtracting the deductions. Now, the reason why you build spreadsheet this way with formulas and cell reference, the original guys, uh, Bricklin and Frankston, who invented VisiCalc, wanted to not recalculate every time they changed an input. They wanted to build formulas and if they change this input, so we'll make it 6.2%. Now watch what happens right here when I hit Enter. All of the calculations, the formulas update. So Excel is great at doing calculations with cell references and formulas. And we'll look at how to do that in a little bit. Now the second thing is data analysis. Whoops, I clicked the wrong thing. I want to use this scroll bar and scroll over here. That's the horizontal scroll bar and then the vertical scroll bar. And here's some um, observation time data for oil changes. Here's observation 1 through 11 or 14 there is. And we have times. Now what we'd like to do is sort them and see the shortest ones at the top. So later we'll see how to sort and this will be the result. You don't do it by hand, it's basically a one click thing. So. Data analysis, that's a simple example, and calculations, that's what Excel does. Now let's take our cursor and click on Rows and Column, Sheet tab, right here. And we want to talk about more basics. Hey, what's this right here? That's the letter B that represents the column B. If I click right here with my cursor, I click on this row header 5 with that little arrow pointing horizontally, that's row 5. So that 5 represents that whole row. That's B. And the intersection of, a col of column B and row 5 is B5. Now how do I know that's the name of it? Well look up here, if you put your cursor up here, you can see that little screen tip says name box. And that name of that cell is B5. That's the column reference, that's the row reference. Now that seems basic, but later when we study cell references, it's very important to know that there's only two directions, up and down, left to right. Up and down is B, left to right is 5. Columns B, rows 5. Now, that's a cell, right? How about this? This is a range of cells from D9 to F9. And what about this? What if we click in between the A and the 1? That's the Select All button. It selects all 17 billion cells in Excel 2007 and 16 million cells in 2003. Now, all of the cells which uh, all have individual names like B1, C1, etc. They make up uh, the worksheet. So all the cells are the worksheet. This is called the sheet tab. And the name of the sheet tab is the name of the sheet. Very important to name sheets. Later it will become important when you're doing formulas with sheet references. Also for uh, navigation to know which sheet to click on and other things like headers and footers. So that's the worksheet. Now, there's lots of worksheets, right? And all the worksheets together make up the workbook. Now, up here, this is the workbook name, Excel Basics. Very important to name these smartly, just like it's important to name uh, your sheet tabs. Always name things logically so you can find them later. So uh, when we use these things in formulas or headers and footers, they're easy to understand. Now, let's talk about the workbook. That's the workbook. This is Excel Basics.xls. 
Now I'm going to hit the F12 key, which is Save As. And we're going to talk about file extensions. The first part of Save As is where do you want to save it, right? There's a folder. The second part down here is file name. What do you want to call it? you got to give it a good name. And then finally, Save As Type. Now I'm going to click this drop down. I may have to scoot this up so you can see. Oops, that's the file name. One, two, three, Save As Type right there. And we want to talk about these different extensions. This is, I'm using Excel 2007, so there's a new extension, .xlsx. Now, XLSX and XLSM are actually XML files. They are uh, save a lot of space and are understood by more programs. The standard extension we've been using for years is .xls. Now, XLSX does not allow you to write macros or code, which is something you do with advanced Excel. And if you're going to write code, you have to use XLSM. XLSB is a file format, a new one, and it saves the most space of all of these. Lots of us have to continue using .xlsx because uh, not everyone has the new uh, Excel 2007. Now I'm going to close this. And I'm going to click in B5. Very important, we have um, column, row, cell, worksheet, and workbook, and file extensions. Now I'm just going to talk a little bit briefly about 2007. Um, we see these ribbons here. And by the way, the, my, one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts to, turn off, to hide the ribbons is Control F1. Notice it hides. It's a toggle. It turns them on and off. Now I'm not going to talk a lot about them in this video, but you can see there's lots of different ones. Um, and that's new, 2003 and before. Uh, we used menus, and um, Excel wanted to bring some of the things out and give them some icons and names so things were easier to find. If you've used earlier versions, it gets a little confusing at first, but later, trust me, it's just fine. These are the ribbons. Now I want to show you uh, a context-sensitive ribbon. We have our sheet tabs. These right here are uh, scroll arrows for the sheets. Now watch this. See this is selected? If I click this, all it does is hide that one and show me the next one. If I click this, it, it shows me the next ones over here. But notice that's still selected. So I'm going to go like this. And rather to go down to a sheet that's way over here, because this workbook has lots of worksheets, I'm going to teach you the keyboard shortcut, Control Page Down, Control Page Down. And I want you to keep paging down until you see the charts, the charts. And you don't see that right here. I'm going to delete that. Now what I want to show you is we're talking about ribbons. I'm going to highlight this little chart area right here. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut to create a default chart, Alt F1. Alt F1, and it creates the default chart. All I'm showing you here is that there's a bunch of new context sensitive ribbons, chart tools. There's a design, a layout, and a format. Now I'm going to use this arrow here and go all the way back to showing me the beginning uh, sheet, and then I'm going to click on rows and columns. Now, one last thing about ribbons uh, if you expand the size of your uh, screen here, you can see that. that uh, the ribbon changes dramatically, and screen resolution does that also. Usually for my videos, I have them pretty small. They're all scrunched up. Now the orb, click that, and you get new, open, uh, print, etc. If I scroll up here and then hit the orb, you can see that's where Excel's options is in 2007. Now for this vid these video series, I'll always tell you how to do, like when we do sorting, I'll, show you how, I'll tell you how to do it in 2003 and 2007. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, QUAT, the Quick Access Toolbar right here. This is in 2007. Um, you can right click it and say Show a Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon and it jumps down here. Great thing about ribbons, if there's something you use all the time like uh, decreased decimals, you can right click and say Add to Quick Access Toolbar so you can add things. Not only that, but you can go right click, Customize, very important, you come over here, there's customize, you come over here and choose all. And there it is, all thousand plus uh, features in Excel. Now the nice thing about this is if you knew where something was in earlier versions, you can point to any one of these and it will tell you. This uh, uh, is in the Home tab, Styles, uh, etc. So you can find things. 
Now I'm going to go down to the S's to speak, and I'm going to point to this speak cells, and it says command not in ribbon. That's where you would use this great feature, and that's why using all is so important. Use add. So you can add and you can build your um, Quat toolbar that way. I'm going to click close here. And uh, that's it for this video. Um, if you want to download these videos, you go to the uh, YouTube, my YouTube XL site, click on that link right there, and there are all of the links. And if you want to see the full uh, book that you can download for this series for free, there it is. All right, see you next video.